Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this short DCS FATC video, we'll discuss the terrain avoidance from TA radar mode. This is the last of the primary radar modes of our FATC. In the August DCS update, we plan to add multi sensor integration or MSI, AWAC surveillance track files that can be set as an LMS or a DT2 without the radar transmitting. This will allow stealthy engagements. AIM-9 and the AIM-120. This will be the subject of a later video. Let's get started. Terrain avoidance, not to be confused with more modern automatic ground avoidance systems, displays two altitude clearance planes on the AG radar format page. The format displays three colors based on the train elevation ahead and is restricted by radar shadows. It's enabled from the air to ground radar mode options, TA. When the aircraft is in level flight or climbing, the radar will scan the train ahead and determine which train is near or above the aircraft's current altitude. Train ahead that is above the aircraft's current altitude is displayed in bright green. Train that is within 500 feet below the aircraft's current altitude is displayed at a lower intensity green an elevation ahead that is greater than 500 feet below the aircraft is in black. Note that train ahead that is in radar shadow will also be in black. If the aircraft is in descending flight path, however, the radar antenna will depress along with a velocity vector on the HUD. The radar color scheme will remain the same, but this will ensure the pilot can see which terrain will obstruct the flight path when descending towards the surface. The display has a fixed azimuth of 70 degrees and range selections of only 5 and 10 nautical miles. The minimum range display is 1.6 nautical miles. To the left and right of the train returns are static wedges that allow you to adjust brightness and contrast. While certainly not as useful as other radar modes, this can be a useful feature when flying low at night or in bad weather to avoid a controlled flight into terrain. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.